Joseph YouTube, too welcome to the coffee pot my name is chishi zed drink the coffee it'll make you feel better we got some coffee today man we've got some coffee today another woman regrets leaving her marriage as in instantly regrets filing for divorce in search of happiness after her husband replaces her how quickly did he replace her might you ask well we're about to find out but first we got to start from the beginning man the first video here explains her search for happiness but before i go on i'd like to give a shout out to hl talk that thought youtube channel where i actually found this lady's story that channel sourced this story and all the videos that you're going to see here so if you enjoy this video you probably enjoy the rest of the videos that are a lot like this that he has on his channel no more wasting time let's get it so recently my husband left his job and we took that as an opportunity for me to pursue my dream job which is like creating videos on the internet which is like so like cliche because like that's literally whoa so many people stream if your wife tells you her dream is to be a tiktoker you, you got to get on your knees and ask god to intervene you you need help you need something you need something to intervene because this is the beginning of the end <laughs> not every chick on tiktok is horrible but tiktok is I believe the first steps women usually take if they're looking for a community of women who are going to encourage them for divorce, right? Let's keep listening. And whatever, but whatever, like that part doesn't really matter. And so what we're doing right now is like we're living off of savings. We have a little bit of passive income that's like really helpful. Um, and I thought that I'd be happy or at least happier doing what I've always wanted to do full time. And I'm not. My brain is still sad and like it breaks my heart because like well if i'm not happy doing the thing that i thought was gonna be so fulfilling in my life mm. like what can i do to be happy all right guys that's the first video right there we're about to play the second one this is just another very perfect example of why you should avoid women who base the decisions they make in life solely on their happiness Life is not about happiness. Happiness is a feeling that's fleeting, comes and goes. And a search for happiness is a search for disappointment. You're chasing after something that you cannot. Most people cannot control their emotions, right? And here lies the root of the problems. Anyways, I'm not going to harp too much about happiness. I think I've done that enough on this channel. But the next thing that happens is in her search of happiness, one of the things that she realized would perfectly result in that was getting rid of her husband. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Yes, yes, yes. But to her surprise, her husband replaced her in a very quick amount of time. No more wasting time, let's find out. Confirmed a suspicion that I had with my husband, soon to be ex-husband. We're in the middle of getting divorced right now. And we're not even officially divorced yet, and mm. he's already sleeping with other people. He might no. have another kid that's not with me one day. We have two kids already, and that makes me want to vomit. I'm so sorry. That really brings a lot of disgust feelings within me, thinking about him having another kid mm. that's not with me, and my daughter's having a sibling that's not from me. It, make, it, it brings a lot of disgust feelings, and it makes me sad. My question is, how's that TikTok career going? <laughs> But obviously, I have absolutely no control over what he does. And I need to let that go. I have nobody in my life except for TikTok to talk to. So here we are. Um, and so it was my surprise when today in the car, my daughters were like, hey, are we going to Dada's friend's house? I was like, oh, no. Who's Dada's friend? And um, I asked for their name. And they were like, we don't know her name. Mm. Well, she has two cats. She's nice. Two cats and a man? Two cats? She's got two cats and a man. Yo, she's winning. Usually women have to choose, you know, cat lady or a man. But she's got two cats and a man. She's killing it out here, man. Let's keep listening. And I was like, oh, she has two cats? She was like, yeah, we went to her house. She has two cats. Um, He did not run this by me. Like other people whatever not even divorced yet not even gonna work at your on yourself at all just gonna jump into another relationship 
And one last thing, since we're ranting about my soon-to-be ex-husband, right? The reason why I know for a fact that mm -hmm. he's at least seeing another woman is because he bought new shampoo. He didn't just buy shampoo. He bought shampoo, conditioner, and I think a body wash. Honestly, I didn't look at them that closely. Um, very aesthetically pleasing packaging. Good. The shampoo is not a regular shampoo. It's an apple cider vinegar clarifying shampoo wow he didn't just walk into a store and said oh that's the one for me a woman told him to buy that um all of that combined i i think it's it's pretty solid to say you effed up and you've got some coffee to drink i don't drink coffee well, too bad that he's seeing someone else weeks after we decided to get divorced you know it's such an interesting time we live in where we can see people's lives in real time and you don't have to ask about it. They will post it for you on TikTok and then be mad when you disagree with their very public post about how they've made very horrible decisions to ruin their family, specifically modern women. Here's what we're talking about. This obviously ungrateful ex-wife is drinking a very bitter cup of coffee, but she doesn't like the taste of the, the consequences of her actions. Was it worth it? I mean, you're kind of TikTok famous now. Was it worth it? The search of happiness. Men don't sit there and get to worry about being happy. He had to worry about figuring out how to find his next job and provide for you. Wow. So now you are TikTok famous, but for all the wrong reasons, you, you're drinking a, a beverage that you do not like, right? We're talking about espresso here. And you're jealous. And what does this chick do? She decides to skip town, go enjoy herself and have fun and results in losing custody of her kids because she didn't let anybody know what was going on. Let's listen. I just got off the phone with my kids and it tears my heart out every single time I talk to them. I know I haven't spoken to them a lot, but this is why, because it absolutely kills me every single time. I miss them so much. Missed them so much that you left town to go be a 304 and now you lost custody. Yeah, it's, it's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good. And listen, it's bad enough when your husband thinks you effed up and is probably enjoying watching you lose something that you should have valued. It's, so that's difficult. But then his, you, your own family thinks that you messed up too. Yeah, check it out. So I cut off contact with my mom um, because she abused, stalked, and harassed me. Um, but I was at like a, a very desperate place, right? When it was official that um, my baby daddy like officially was like, hey, I don't think you should be in our kids' lives at all. Um, so I reached out to my mom because I thought maybe she would have some resources that could help me. And she responded back saying that I was possessed by the devil and I don't deserve to have my kids. Damn. <laughs> so, not really worth reaching out to, no? And then came this next video. Not too long ago, I did a little exercise of like, what your subconscious truly wants out of life, whatever. And it's like the first thing you see is what you really want out of life. And I just saw um, me on a little like porch swing with my kid looking out to the mountains, which is weird because like I, re like, I did that with my kids. But I think um, what, it, what it really meant for me was like, I just want to travel the world, just me and my kids. And just live life and just experience new things and experience them together. And that's what I want out of life. Um, uh, uh, at this point, guys, I'm actually, um, and, I'm, and I'm being dead seriously. I'm starting to question if she's emotionally, mentally ma um, mature enough to even have the kids at all. Let's keep listening. <sighs> But I will say the crying and everything is a little bit better than the last chick's 
um, crying video. And as crazy as I sound saying that, you've got to think of how crazy it is to set up the camera, angle yourself like this, so that the camera can capture the tear going down your cheek. What? <laughs> but at least she has tears. The last chick didn't have any tears. She was doing the dry cry. Let's keep listening. And now I'm thinking, is there a way to enjoy life? without my kids because um you know it feels like a pretty big possibility that that might be my reality um and look what you got yourself into i don't know i don't know so it's obvious that this chick realized that she made a huge mistake and her husband thought so her own mother thought so and eventually her own tiktok followers thought that she was crying on camera on purpose and needed more than tiktok to get through this might need some actual help let's keep listening everything i've ever said on this tiktok is true um it's it's really important to me to not lie, to not exaggerate when telling any of these stories. Because it's like, what's the point if I'm going to lie? I know a lot of people have accused me of lying and I don't care what people speculate. You know, you guys don't have all the information. So obviously you're going to get stuff wrong. I don't care. Um, but it's very important to me to tell 100% of the truth. Um, and we talk about anything really. Um, and something that I've really been thinking about lately is obviously I want what's best for my kids. That's the whole point. If you wanted what was best for your kids, you would have stayed with your husband and kept your family intact. It's going to be a long, brutal road for this chick and hopefully other women who are on the fence of taking their try at their TikTok career and thinking, you know, they need to prioritize their happiness and sacrifice the family who they vowed. They vowed. Because people sit and think, why do you care that people, they made a vow and they lied in front of everybody. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Don't get married if you don't mean your vows. Let's keep listening. And I really did think that me being their mom was the best thing for them. But maybe it's not. Maybe me being out of their life is better for them. So... That's another reason why I don't want to lie, because if I get my kids back because I'm lying, what's the point of that? You know, like, I'm going to say my truth. And if I'm meant to be with my kids, then I'll get them back. And if I'm not, then I won't. And that's what's best for them. Or you could take some accountability and say, you know what? I was wrong. You know what? I'm sorry. I made a big mistake. Tell your kids you're sorry instead of playing the sympathy card. And then came this video. Let's get it. I can admit when I'm jealous of something and I can recognize within that, that within myself. Um, and something that I've been jealous of recently are people who have support from their families, people who... In tough times, their families will all come together, like physically with the person and comfort, support, be there, do whatever, do whatever it takes to help the person out who's having a hard time. <laughs> so, no, you know what? You know what? I'm not even going to say it. Let's keep listening. Like, I'm so f***ing jealous of all of these people. So f***ing. And I know all the comments are going to be like, well, you need to do that for your own kids. Okay. Right. Right. Like, I right. understand that I fucked up, 
I get that. And now I'm reaping the consequences of that. Got it. Yeah. I can't, I can't go back in time. I really wish I could. Oh, there's the regret. She admitted it. All I want is that when I get my kids back, Mm -hmm. I want to, you know, teach them everything that I've learned about life. (sighs) And like teach from the mistakes that I've learned and teach them how to be calm. See, she's struggling, but have you ever seen a woman try to admit they're wrong? That's what's happening right here. It's difficult. You know, her body won't let her. She's there trying her. I, 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 I was, I, 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 I shut up. <laughs> Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> and how to be resilient and how to what? Like, like prepare them for the sh- Hold on. Did she say she wants to teach him how to be resilient? You need to teach him how to not be a quitter in a marriage. Let's listen again. Oh, teach them everything that I've learned about life. And like teach from the mistakes that I've learned. Uh-huh. And teach them how to be confident and how to be resilient and how to like like prepare them for the sh- in life. Like, I don't know. I don't know about you and your childhood. No one fucking this man dodged the bullet. for bad stuff to happen in life. In life. This man dodged the bullet. If like obviously right now I, I no 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 no. I actually believe this was the best thing for this. This is what this guy was dealing with. Think about this though, because something just hit me. He, the reason why he replaced her in three weeks is because he couldn't wait for her to leave. But, for, but, but, but unlike women, a lot of men sit there and they'll think to themselves, well, let me not quit. All right. They, a man does not want to feel like he failed at keeping his family together. And of course he's thinking of the children because they suffer the most, but hearing her and how she's taken accountability here lets me know that there was a lot of shit this guy was dealing with. And for him to replace you in three weeks, he was like, oh my goodness, thank goodness. I'm going through it, you know, but life is so fucking painful. And it feels to me right now that all life is is pain. You know what she said? She said a lot there about life. Life is about suffering and enduring. A large majority of life, especially if you are somebody who's constantly um, looking at yourself and trying to improve, trying to be better for your family. It's struggle. Now, are there moments of happiness and contentment and being thankful? Yes, they are. But more than that, the, the, the fulfillment comes from the meaning in your life and the things that you accomplish that are challenging, like making sure you do your best to keep your family together. Life is about suffering, man. And it's not always about um, happiness. <sighs> Nothing good is easy. Nothing good comes easy. And so guys, after those series of TikTok posts and videos, this chick eventually um, convinced her audience that she needed some serious help. And she decided to go and get it, but posted this video as a last um, and final post. Let's listen. I know this is just a story that I tell myself, and it keeps happening, uh, but it always seems like everyone else gets success, and I don't. No matter how hard I try, no matter how much energy I put into it, I just, I never see any success. I don't know how much harder I have to try. I'm doing everything I can. I need this to work. Or else I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. Um. Again, this is very unfortunate for that family and those children and that man especially um, for being put through this. Because... At, you can see that that her kind of breaking down 
in the very end there, mentally and emotionally, was a result of her divorce. Was a result of her divorce. And too many women out here think that chasing happiness is the goal. And guys, this is why to the men out here who still value marriage and a union or want to eventually provide a two-parent household for your children, that's not all men I know. But to those men, this is why you understanding the mindset of a woman, what what she thinks success is in her life. Is it happiness? Is, is it a feeling? Or is it her looking around and saying like, is my life and the people around me headed in a positive direction or the decisions we're making for the betterment of not only myself, but also the people around me, especially the children? Is my husband doing what's humanly possible to be the best version of himself? Like, it's not about happiness and it's important that a woman understands this otherwise you will regret choosing that woman as a wife now of course as we know there are guys out here just like man i'm just not even gonna get married at all that's cool you know it's up to you as a man knowing what you know today to decide how you're going to pursue life after you've seen how dangerous it is out here in the streets what you shouldn't do is allow anybody to pressure you as always, we're going to check out some of these comments, see what the people have to say. First comment, he says, OMG, she didn't want to be married anymore. As for divorce, got mad because he moved on and went out of town and left the kids behind, causing herself to lose custody and then has the nerve to be mad. Make it make sense. Somebody, please, if you can, in the comment section down below, make it make sense. Explain to us what we just saw. Goes on to say, I'm glad he moved on. She was and is the problem. Point blank, period. Yeah. Here's another comment that says if she spent more time on her family and not in TikTok, she might still have a family. The platform is a gateway to insanity. <laughs> another person here says unreal. She torpedoed her family and ruined her kids childhoods. She's 100% correct that her kids are better off without her. Another comment here says good for her husband and mother for telling her the truth and sticking up for the kids slash grandkids another person here says when my daughter was 17 years old she thanked me for being her father and stayed and staying in my marriage there we go she had many friends at school that had no fathers and fathers that were losers i would willingly die to protect her and she knows it that's beautiful that's beautiful here's another comment that says never believe a person who records themselves crying in most cases it's manipulation especially on TikTok. Listen, as always, guys, I'm curious to know, what do you think? Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you, as always, for checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.